Hey guys, Tech Tech Man TV here. And in the past few days, there's been a ton of leaks related to the iPhone, iPod Touch, and some non-leaks, such as that there's actually tethering in iPhone OS 4.0 Beta 4. iPhone OS 4.0 Beta 4 was just released yesterday. Now, if you go and download iPhone OS 4.0 Beta 4 and you head over to settings, there's actually going to be an option to enable internet tethering. And basically, if you click to enable this, you'll be redirected to the AT&T website. And unfortunately, if you log in there, nothing's actually going to happen. It's just going to redirect you to the homepage. Many people have actually called up AT&T on the phone. And right now, AT&T is just stating that tethering is not available for the network yet. So hopefully this tethering option will actually stay with the iPhone this time. Back over a year ago at the iPhone OS 3.0 announcement event, Apple actually stated that there would be tethering on iPhone OS 3.0. And of course, this did not go through. And as you can tell, there's no tethering on the iPhone. The next bit of news is actually pretty interesting, and this is that the next iPhone 4G slash HD, whatever you want to call it, may have a completely white option, meaning, no, not just the back is going to be white, the entire device is going to be white, meaning that there's even going to be a white front plate. Now, a Chinese website actually has their hands on an iPhone, which they're claiming to be completely white. They haven't actually shown the pictures of the back of the device, but they did release pictures of a completely white front part of the iPhone, which, as you can see in the pictures here, it's completely white, unlike any earlier version of the iPhone, not even on the iPhone 3GS or the 3G. And finally, the most interesting news, of course, in my opinion anyways, a iPod Touch third generation prototype with a camera was actually leaked. Now, the reason I said iPod Touch third generation is because this is not actually a prototype for the fourth generation. No, Apple did not lose another upcoming device, but they did lose a prototype of an iPod Touch third generation, which actually incorporates a two megapixel camera on the top back. The reason that we know this is an iPod Touch third generation is because the serial number on the back of the iPod it's actually the same exact serial number as current models of the iPod Touch 3rd generation that have already been released since September. The iPod Touch actually turns on, unlike the iPhone HD that was leaked to Gizmodo, and it's actually running a diagnostic iPod Touch software that's actually been seen in a YouTube video about a year ago. The rest of the iPod Touch is exactly the same as the current iPod Touch, and this of course is because it's a prototype of the third generation. It's very likely that this iPod Touch may be coming in September when Apple releases the new iPod Touch as a fourth generation. And that about wraps it up for this video. Thanks a lot for watching.